Is this day game creepy? Is it something that you should avoid doing? Is it something that should be banned from society? Do women hate it? Well, if you've ever had this debate with anyone, as I do all the time, then you might want to stick around till the end of this video because as a dating coach, as somebody who does day game, as somebody who teaches day game with a lot of experience in the field of approaching women as well as coaching other men to approach women, I believe I have some insights that are going to help you to maneuver this question and to potentially help you to get the confidence to approach a beautiful girl that you find attractive. So without further ado, let's go right ahead into this topic. First of all, is day game creepy? No. If it's done right, it's simply a compliment, even if a girl is not interested in you. Unfortunately, in modern society, men are on thin ice. That's why if you are afraid of doing day game, or if this is something that is really stopping you, I recommend you reach out to a dating coach, whether it is me or somebody else. You can check out some of my testimonials on my YouTube channel to have a look at how I help my clients. You can also look at my community page on YouTube where I regularly post messages from my clients who gain regular success. Check it out. It might give you some insights and it might actually help you to get some confidence into reaching out to someone so that you can start your journey and improve your dating life. A lot of men still meet women that they are in long-term relationships with uh, in this way through approaching them in the middle of the street or in the mall or while they're walking their dog, right? It is not creepy at all. The concept of day game that I think a lot of people think is creepy is the fact that you approach a lot of women consecutively. I understand how that can come across as creepy. However, it really is not because what you're doing is you're casually dating. The problem really stems from the fact that the guys who are doing day game do not necessarily want a relationship. It is perceived that they just want a fuck. If there is deception involved in day game where a guy is lying to a woman or he's not putting out his intentions to the girl so that she can make an informed decision as to whether she wants to sleep with the guy, then of course there is a potential problem. However, if you're being told day game right, and that means being honest with the girl and not being deceitful, meaning that you are putting across your intentions to the girl, not specifically saying, oh yeah, I do want to just fuck and that's it, but basically demonstrating that you are not looking for a relationship, you want to have a little bit of fun, get to know the girl, then it's okay, right? It's casual dating. That's why it is called casual. Most guys that get into day game are actually not doing it to really get laid with a lot of women straight away. They're actually doing it to improve their social skills and confidence. And of course, the end game is to get to the point where they are casually dating a girl or two girls or three girls or whatever they want to do. That's up to them to decide. I think as long as you're honest with the women that you are dating in terms of letting them know you are not seeking a relationship so that they are not under the illusion that this is a relationship, then it's fine, right? Of course, there is a risk of breaking somebody's heart. There is always a risk of that when you are meeting someone. That's why I believe that if a girl is looking for a relationship and you do not want a relationship with that girl, she communicates that with you, then you should let the girl know, let them move on with their life so that they can find a partner that they are going to be happy with. Because stringing them along, making them believe that this is going to lead somewhere could really impact someone's mental health. And that is not what you want to do. It could also impact their future relationships in a negative way. So don't do that to someone. If you know that they want something more and you don't, end it. Now on a final note on day game, if you still think that it's creepy to approach multiple women in a day, okay, don't do it. It's not for everyone. Absolutely not. So there are other ways of meeting women. You've got online dating, You've got bars, you've got clubs, you've got friends who can introduce you to potential partners, right? There's different ways of dating and going about meeting people. I think a day game is really good if you want to quickly improve your confidence and social skills. That is why on a bootcamp, I get a guy to approach 10, 15 women in a single day to improve his social skills, to expose him to potential rejections so that he doesn't feel as nervous about approaching women. That is how this works. That is why the bootcamp has a structure that you know, follows approaching a lot of women and obviously improving as you go on, removing some mistakes. For those who are on the fence here, who think maybe I'd want to try this, I recommend that you do try it, see how it is. It's very liberating if you just open your mind to it. It can be very fun for both you and the women that you approach. 
it can give you a lot of confidence and if you're being honest about it and if you're going about it in the right way it is not going to be creepy it is uh, not going to cause anybody to feel bad hopefully that's giving you some clarity if you're not subscribed here then why not subscribe content's coming out every single week i normally post every every friday at 6 p.m uk time so again if you're not subscribed subscribe hit the bell notification and you'll know when the next video is coming out i'll leave you with a playlist of some infields and also some testimonials thanks for checking out this video and